Here I just wanted to step through what my process is like dyno testing a motor just for anyone who was curious in uh, how it happens. Start with a 20 amp linear power supply that I set uh, directly to pack voltage, uh, fully charged pack voltage um, at the voltage that I want to test. This feeds through a pack of three 15 amp rectifier diodes that help protect the power supply from back feed from the ESC. They're overrated quite a bit compared to the maximum draw, so even if they don't share current perfectly evenly, it should be just fine. A large LiPo pack attaches to the other end of the splitter on the other side of the diodes, and this acts to absorb any of the uh, back feed from the ESC, and it's a uh, source of surge current and makes up for whatever current the uh, power supply doesn't handle. You can see the motor on its mounting plate with a little thermistor attached uh, as close as possible to the coils and the flexible motor mount zip tied over the shaft to keep it from slipping under load. This is just the back view of what it looks like with everything set up with the controller on the bench. Cooling for the motor is provided by a little scroll fan that's uh, set up on a mag arm. The test controller itself is controlled by a simple uh, web UI. From here I can connect to it over wireless and load my preset test programs which sit on the SD card and tell it to run any particular one of them. The particular test program I'm running here is uh, one of the dyno suite running 100% uh, throttle to 90% load. And then for a normal dyno test, I redo this 20 times in total uh, for each uh, individual throttle value. Here we can see the uh, current draw during that same test. And what I watch for when running these is that the current drops under one amp when the test is stopped before I continue on to the next. From here I can dump the logs off the SD card onto the network and pull it up on my computer. Back at my workstation I'll review the logs to make sure that uh, nothing failed, that all of the uh, sensors seem to be reading good data, nothing came unplugged or uh, anything like that. And then I'll sanity check uh, the basic charts to see if I need to uh, rerun any of the particular tests. For the dyno test, I don't necessarily run uh, multiple runs at the same time uh, because there's already 20 runs uh, per motor. So as long as I've got good correlation between um, all of the 20 tests, then I feel pretty good about that. Um, and I may just rerun uh, individual ones, uh, particularly stuff at uh, high throttle, it tends to be really noisy, and so if stuff is not looking right, I'll rerun individual slices of the dyno run to try and get an overall picture that looks like it's representative. If I'm doing spot tests, like when doing uh, stuff on the thrust stand, I'll run uh, three tests simultaneously, or, or three tests back to back of every test uh, to look for correlation between the data that way. Uh, but there's so much data involved in the dyno test already that if something is off on one particular test, it stands out pretty well. 